Hello, I'm Graham Bray from Easier Internet Marketing and welcome to this new video series Create Your First Blog with WordPress. Right, so welcome to this fifth video in the WordPress series and in this video we're going to look at installing plugins. Now, if you've been following the series through, you know that uh, whenever there's a new word, I try and explain what it means. So let's think now about this term, what is a plugin? Now, what a plugin is basically is a small bit of software that uh, you can add to your WordPress blog to actually make it carry out different sorts of functions. And there's an amazing number of these. If you go into a WordPress plugin directory, you'll find there's over 16,000 plugins that you can choose from. Now some of these plugins are pretty obvious, like this one here is a weight loss calculator. So you can put the plugin into your um, blog, say for example your blog about um, weight training or dieting or something, and you can put this into your blog and then people can access it and look at their weight loss and plot it and so on. Now this is a very obvious plugin, but some plugins are much more hidden. You don't actually see them, but they have a big effect on your blog. Here are the um, plugins that we're going to be installing on our blog. We've got all-in-one SEO pack, pretty link light, external links, Google XML sitemaps, and WP Shortstat 2. Let's just have a brief look at each one of these in turn so you know what we're actually installing. The first one, the all-in-one SEO pack, what this does, it makes your site more visible to Google. If you are marketing something um, through your site, you really want Google to pick it up and put it high up in the rankings, and that's what this pack will help. Next one is Pretty Link Light. Now you've already noticed that in um, my blog I've got a few links. I put some links in there, perhaps to a, an affiliate product or something. Now some of those affiliate product links can be pretty, pretty ugly and be very, very long. So what Pretty Link Light does, it makes those links look much neater, much nicer. External links helps you manage your external links, i.e. those to other sites. And also what it does, which is rather nice, it, it, it opens the other links in a new window. Rather than close down or obscure your blog, it opens the link in a new window so your blog is still visible. Google XML sitemaps. Again, this is for um, helping your site become more visible with Google and other search engines like Bing and Yahoo. And lastly, you want to know how many people are coming to your site. So what we've got is WP Shortstat 2 and this keeps a simple tally of those people visiting your blog, a really useful plugin. So there they are, those are the five plugins that we're going to have a go at installing. Now to do this we need to go into our um, WordPress admin site, so any further ado I'll see you in your admin site. Now the actual um, plugin process is pretty much the same for all the plugins with just slight tweaks with each one. To find them we go over here to plugins and we're going to add new. Now the first one we're going to put in, remember, is the all-in-one SEO pack. So just type in here all-in-one SEO pack. Click on search plugins. There we go, and this is the one we want by Michael Torbert. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on Install Now. Yep, we want to install it. Then we want to activate the plugin. Okay, and there we go. So this is the all-in-one SE pack that's now being put in there. Now it says here, all in one SEO pack must be configured to go to the admin page to enable and configure the plugin. So click on here. Okay, so here we are in the all in one SEO plugin option page. So just scroll down a little bit here. What we want is this section here. Now change this here to enabled. Let's give it a um, home title. Let's call it um, BBQ. Res Oops, can't spell this morning. Recipe info. And then the next bit home description: um, sizzling, sizzling BBQ recipes. Okay, and keywords we could have in um, BBQ. Um, recipe 
menus. Okay, let's leave it at that. Now, every time you come to um, fill in your uh, SEO pack, you'll you'll put a little title into it and description and keywords and so on. But I'll show you this when I put in my first post. Okay, everything else we leave exactly the same. So update options. There we go, all in one SEO updated. Now let's go back to um, add new. Now next thing I want to put in is pretty pretty link light. So type in here pretty link light again search plugins. And there we go. So in store now. Yes, thank you very much. Activate. Okay, and there it is down there. It's now been put in. Notice also it's got its own little section on the sidebar here where you can add new links. So you come to add new link, what you'll do is you'll use this to put it in there. Okay, so that's pretty link put in as well. Right, moving the pace now, let's look at the next one. The next one is external links. External links. So it's plugins. That's the one. This is by good old Dennis over here. Let's uh, install that now. Yep. Activate. There we go. External links there. Okay. Now this one I want to look at the settings. Come here to settings. Now for this one, make sure you untick this box here and you tick that box there, okay? And then save the changes. Right, that's all done now, settings saved. Right, next we want to go into plugin search and let's put in Google XML sitemaps. And again, Put in plugin. There we go, and let's install that one. Yes, thank you very much. Activate. Right now, this one here, we've got to make sure we get the settings sorted. This one as well. So let's go down here to settings. Now it says the sitemap wasn't built yet. Click here to build it for the first time. So all you've got to do is just click on that. There we go. The sitemap was last built. So that is now up and running. And the last plugin we're going to do, go across to Add New. And here, okay, is WP Short Stat 2. So it's plugins. That's the one we want, so install now. Okay. Activate. There we go. So we've now got all our plugins in place in there. Okay. We can just click on plugins there, and that's everything we need to do. So everything's happy. Okay, so there we are. We have now installed all our plugins. Right, that's it for this video. In the next video, we'll be looking at putting our first post in place. So, see you then. I hope this has all made sense to you. But please, if you've got any questions whatsoever, please contact me at www.easierinternetmarketing.com and just go to the contact page there and get in touch. I look forward to hearing from you. Bye bye for now.